Hey, what's up guys? Mash Shiny here. Come back with a brand new video for you guys. This one's going to be a rather quick one. Today, we're going to be going over all of my CSGO investments. Now, I made a video about this six months ago. I like to keep it updated every four to six months just to kind of get you guys in the know of where I'm personally invested at. Now, starting off here, we're going to see a significant amount of cases. A lot of these cases are ones that I bought for a rather cheap price. As you can see, the profit percent is extremely high, the highest being the Gamma case, but I've only got about 85 of those but the case that I'm most invested into quantity wise is going to be the Prisma 1 case. I've got almost 2,000 of these and I bought them for around 6 cents each on average which is going to be a pretty decent profit not as much as the rest of these ones though. The second most invested case I'm into is the CS20 case. I talk a lot of bad things about the CS20 case because it is extremely over invested but the nice thing is the entire CSGO market has been going up rather quickly for the past six to eight months. So it's ended up being an okay investment. After that, my third most invested case is actually the Spectrum 2 case. Now this is one of my most profitable ever investments coming in at a buy price of around 16 cents. And I've got almost a thousand of these. And for a 76 cent current price point, that's almost $600 in profit, which is absolutely crazy. You can see there's a lot of other cases I'm not going to go too deep into. If you want to check them out, you're more than welcome to. But I figured I'd just give you a little update on the cases. And now we've got some other things going on. One Katowice 2015 Hollow, that's Hellraisers. I'm a really big fan of the Hellraisers logo before they changed it. I mean, they absolutely butchered it afterwards. But I think the Hellraisers is definitely a very cool logo and I wish it was still in the game today because I would be picking up a ton of their stickers. Unfortunately they're not. I've got a huge investment into is the Shattered Web case. Almost 750 of these. This is a case I've been pushing for so many years at this point that I believe is going to be the next big investment and it's taken off a decent amount. I've made 50% profit on these since I bought in at around a dollar average but it's definitely not where I want it to be. Coming down a little bit more we've got the entirety of my Stockholm investment which is definitely turned out pretty well. I mean, there's not anything that I've taken a loss on with a 26 cent average-ish, 25 cent, whatever you want to call it, buy in price. And then the last big thing that I've got a ton of money into is the sticker two capsule. I've got 35 of these and I picked them up for around $12 a piece. There's something I see a lot of potential with because the ROI is not terrible compared to a case and it has the upside that a case offers. See, with a case, you can get a knife and a knife is a extremely expensive. It's the reason why you open up a case. But with the sticker 2 capsule, you've got the crown foil. And the crown foil is extremely expensive. It's the big idea of why you would ever open up the sticker 2 capsule. It's basically the knife of the sticker 2 capsule. And this means that the sticker 2 capsule ends up with a pretty decent ROI for something that you can open up that's extremely expensive. It's the reason why I think the sticker 2 capsule is a little bit undervalued. Problem is it's sitting around 16 to $18 always, so it can't be too undervalued in my opinion, but it's definitely something you should check out. And one thing I glossed over earlier was my cobblestone package. I've got one cobblestone package and cobblestone package unboxings have been on the rise recently. I'm sure you guys are aware of the person that opened up a ton of these and ended up getting nothing good. You can see here the price graph or the price trend of the 2018 Boston couple souvenir package which is what I personally have and it's definitely gone up significantly if we look at the sell price they're selling for around 650 or that's what they're listed for the actual price is flying a bit closer to $600 as you can see here that the buy order is for $570 and there would definitely be people who's paying a little bit more than that. Personally, I picked mine up for $500 as you can see here, but that's really all I have for today. Just a little quick video to keep you guys in the loop about basically all of my investments. Love to keep you guys updated. Love to keep everything transparent, but I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.